You have to learn how to relax. Look, Doc, I got a business to run. I'm too busy to relax. <laughs> You're too busy to live? Oh, Doc. Listen, George, why don't you take some time off? Oh, is that all I got to do? Great. Well, tomorrow, I'll knock off early for lunch. <laughs> You need more time off than that. Now you're starting to sound like my wife. She was bugging me this morning to take her to Hawaii. Some time in Hawaii would be perfect. It would? Yeah, I'll go to Hawaii, spend a week or so, relax, and I'll check your blood pressure when you get back. What do you say? Oh, hi, George. Hey, have I got something to tell you? Oh, I, I have something to tell no, you, too. No, no, me first, me first. Okay, what have you been bugging me to do for a long time? Uh, George, shouldn't we wait till it's dark? <laughs> oh. Long weed. I'm talking about this. I got us some tickets to Hawaii. Hawaii? That's right. You mean as in I want to go back to my little grass shack in Hawaii? Hawaii? That's the one. We leave Saturday. It's a great hey, Hawaii. <laughs> Ready to travel? Sure, your broom is in the closet. <laughs> George. Uh, Florence, you look very um <laughs> colorful. <laughs> Why, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> I say one thing, if she gets air sick in that dress, ain't gonna buy gonna notice it. <laughs> See, George, I told you it'd be too warm here for a business suit. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson, this is Hawaii. You're supposed to let your hair down. Or in your case, keep track of what you got left. <laughs> Come on, let's go check in. Well, Miss Jefferson, would you check in for me, too? Where are you going? To the beach. I've been in Hawaii 45 minutes, and I haven't touched the ocean. <laughs> Pardon me, sir, but can you tell me the time? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Go sightseeing. Come on, George, let's go change. Look, we you said you and me were gonna spend a nice, quiet vacation. I can't understand how you can spend all that money to get here and then just want to lay around all the time. Shoot, you can lay around at home. Yeah, nobody knows that better than you. <laughs> come on, everybody, let's go. Oh, come on, George, it'll be fun. A once in a lifetime adventure. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Oh, come on, George. <sighs> George, these last few days have really been great. Yeah, we they sure have. <gasps> Hawaii is such a beautiful place. Ain't it? You know, I feel like we jumped inside of a postcard. <laughs> I could stay here forever. <laughs> really, man? You know, that's funny. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs>
that's the Samoan slap dance. Hey, wow, look at that precision. Look at that style. Look at those I don't think we should have gone past the breakwater. At least when you go sailing out here, you can see fish and car. In New York, all you see is orange peels and beer cans. <laughs> I don't even see land anymore. <laughs> hey, Willis, listen to me. How'd you like to live out here all the time? Nice house on the beach. Yeah, I just wish I could see the beach. Let me see the beach right over there. <laughs> Where the hell is that beach? <laughs> Go north. Which way is north? How you tell that? Just look for the North Star. It's daylight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Come on, let's do something. You the captain. Well, what? How should I know? This hurry up is getting cloudy. But uh, I don't know what to do. I... Um, well, let's swing the sail. Oh, no, no, don't stand up. You'll kick us over. <laughs> life jackets. We'd both probably be inside some shark right now. Yeah, me, maybe. But for you, the shark would have to bring along a doggy bag. <laughs> yeah. See, Weezy, just before we left New York, I went to the doctors to have my blood pressure checked. And the doctor said it was high. How high? Well, high enough for him to make me take this vacation. What? And you told me we came here because you love me. Yeah, well, I do love you, Weezy, but see, the doctor told me if I didn't take time off to relax, that I'd be dead soon. And being dead ain't nothing like being with you. <laughs> oh, thanks, George. I think. <laughs> And see, ever since I've been in Hawaii, I've been feeling great. That's why to keep our blood pressure down, we gotta move here. We gotta move here? George, I think you are overreacting. The hell I am. Hey, Doc! <laughs> yeah, George. <laughs> hey, tell her, Doc. If we move over here, my blood pressure will stay down, and we have a lot of years to live together. That's not right, George. Oh, it's okay, Doc. We married. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I meant was, living here won't keep your blood pressure down any more than living in New York will keep it up. Well, how come it's not as high here as it is back there? You know, probably because you left the stress and tension of your work behind you, George. Yeah, you move it over here and you'll probably be the same. Oh, then where a person lives doesn't make any difference. That's right, George. Now, the only move you need to make is to your doctor's office for regular visits. Take it easy, follow his advice, you should be fine. Oh, you hear that, Weezy? We can live in New York. <laughs> right. Oh! Thanks for bringing us from the airport line. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Listen, how much did you have to pay for excess baggage? 
Nothing. Florence already had a ticket. <laughs> well, from everything you told us, it sounds like you had a really great time. Oh, we did. And I can't think of anything that could have made our trip any better. I can. You could have brought me and Jenny along. Oh, now, Lionel, is that all you can think about? Yourself? So what did you get me? Oh, oh Jenny, you're going to love it. I got you one of those Miley Leaf necklaces. What? A Miley Leaf. Uh, it's still packed, but... Um, oh, Florence, why don't you show Jenny yours? Oh, that's beautiful. Hawaiian legend says that anyone who wears one of these is going to have lots of good luck. Oh, so is it working? I don't think so. I'm still working for Mr. Jefferson. 